my friends. Miss D here with some art today. And today we're going to do some colored pencils. <clears throat> and I thought we could talk about different ways of shading with colored pencils. Um, we know that we can't really smudge them with our thumb or our finger. And Q-tip doesn't really work. So there are different ways to um, do uh, kind of shading. We can blend it by using a crosshatch. And that's using different lines. We can, one of my favorite words is called scumbling, and that's we make tiny circles. And I'll show you how to do that. And then there are other kinds of ways to do it, like stippling, where you do little pinpoints, kind of like a tiny dots. So there are different ways of, of, of um, shading using colored pencils. And the fun thing about shading or blending are kind of two different things. Shading is like when we go from light to dark or dark to light. Blending is when we blend from, say, a light blue to a dark blue, or even we can change it from colors. We could go from like a dark blue, and then we could even add green and make it, you know, blend that way. So there are different ways of blending and shading with colored pencils. So we're going to go meet over at the drawing table, and I will see you there. All right, here we are at the old drawing table. It's not really a table, it's just a... Um, I just use, I've never showed this to you before, but it's just a black foam board. And then I just tape my piece of paper onto it. And it just helps keep the paper in place so it doesn't move around. You know, so sometimes when we draw, the paper kind of folds up or something like that. So I'm just choosing these colors. I've got green, orange, red, yellow, blue, and pink. And I know they're not really super sharp, but it doesn't matter because they will still work the same. So it's up to you if you want to sharpen them. And you know, I always talk about the beauty of art because whether you have a sharpened pencil or even a dull pencil, it's still gonna work. And here's the beauty again. It is totally up to you, the individual masterpiece artist, to decide what you like. Some people like a sharper uh, tip. I personally like it a little bit where it's not so sharp. And you can see when I'm just scribbling, it's not like a super fine point, but see how it shades. And this is just one way of shading or blending. So I'm just kind of doing that. So I'll go from dark by pressing harder. And then when I lighten up on it, and you can't tell what I'm doing, but you can see that if I if you could only see that I'm pushing really hard here. And then as I as I lighten my my touch, I it gets lighter. So that is another way, and then I can go right back to dark again. So there's one way to shade. Another one is to is, is called gradient, and that is where we blend one color into another. So I'm gonna use my blue again, and I'm gonna press really hard, and then I'm gonna get a little bit lighter and a little bit lighter. It also is getting smaller and smaller. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use my green. Now my green one actually has a little bit sharper point. So then I'm going to start right about here, kind of like in the third, and I'm going to go over the top of that. And you can see how that blends in. I'm going to get up close for you. So what is happening here, it's a gradient. It's gradient from a dark blue to a lighter blue and then to a kind of a green blue. So you see that there really are different ways of blending with colored pencils. And it's all part of experimenting and finding what you like best. Um, there's another one called stippling. And that is where we just make little dots. And the closer those dots are together, the more it looks almost like it could be really solid. Now here's where you probably would want to have a, a, you know, maybe a pointier tip. But even with that one, I'm still making those little dots. And they don't have to be perfect dots. Now the farther away I get, you can see there's more space in between there. It's called negative space. Negative space is a little spaces in between the dots. And that shows us kind of like how we go from a light to dark. So if we go out, the farther out we go, you can kind of, it looks like shading, but then we get really up close, you can see that they really are dots, okay? So that's called stippling, and that takes a lot of time. I, I did a drawing one time in stippling, and it was just a simple drawing, but it took me a couple of hours just to do just stippling. Um, so that's one that you can do if you just really want to get into it and you want to spend a lot of time just on that one. Or if you want to add another one, there's the crosshatch. And we've done that a lot before. So we go uh, one line going one direction, 
and I'm using my green. Now if I wanted to use a different color over the top of that, let's say orange, but I'm gonna go in the opposite direction. So there's a cross hatch. So we're kind of doing two things here. We are shading light to dark, dark to light, but we're also blending a color. And when I get, again, get up close here, you can see the colors are blending. Now, I don't know what you would call green and orange, maybe kind of a brownish color, huh? <laughs> now, scumbling. Scumbling is really, really fun. It's a fun word to say, and it's just as much fun to do. So I'm gonna use my red, and scumbling is like a scribble, only it's super tiny. It's a real tiny circle. I'm not sure who made up the word scumbling. I really, I wonder if somebody was just drawing and said, you know, I think I'm going to make up a word. I'm going to call it scumbling. So you see, it's like when we scribble, which large scribbles like that, but these are tiny, the really tiny little circles, kind of like loops. And that is called scumbling. So we have gradient where it goes blending one color into another, like fading into one to another from dark blue to light blue into green. We have stippling, which is little dots. And we have our cross hatch, which is lines in both directions. And then we have the scumbling. So there are all different kinds of ways of shading and blending with colored pencils. And I, I don't know if you have a favorite one. Uh, I kind of just depends on what you want to draw, but these are really fun. So um, there you have it. This is just kind of a, a simple shading technique uh, of shading and blending in colored pencils. And if we were gonna draw something, you know, that we would draw some, you know, just a simple figure. Um, and my favorite always doing a cat because it's just real simple. So you've got the pointed ears, got the eyes, mouth, whiskers. So if I wanted to color that in, I could use a cross hatch here. I could use some stippling here. I could um, kind of do the scumbling, scumbling down at the bottom, right? Scumble, scumble. Kind of fun to say scumbling when you're doing that. And then um, the gradient, and I would press really hard to light. And then again, if I want to add another color, I'm gonna go over the top of that. I'm gonna add it right about here. And you see that we've got kind of a brown because we know that red and green makes brown. So you can see that when you do it on something, there's different ways of blending and shading. All right, there we go. It's really not a drawing that we're doing today. It's more of just learning how we can um, blend and shade our drawings. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. I know I did. Hi, my friends, Misty here again. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. I know I always say that, but it's true. I really enjoy drawing, painting with you, and uh, it doesn't matter if we're far away from each other or not, we're still doing all kinds of amazing art together because you are all amazing masterpiece artists. So I'm wondering, what was your favorite? Did you like the gradient where we went from a light blue to a dark blue, or we could even change those colors? Did you like the stippling? Did you like the cross hatch or do you like the scumble? I like the scumble because I just love to say that word. It just sounds funny. And it's fun when we do the scumble, isn't it? So there are all different kinds of things and maybe you could even make up your own way of blending or shading. Um, the sky's the limit with art, as you already know. So whether we're using colored pencils or crayons or regular pencils or paint, <clears throat> or whatever medium, and today's medium is colored pencils, we can always learn and always experiment. And that's the beauty and fun of art, to always stay creative and experiment like little scientists. Artists are like scientists in a lot of ways, and I think you already know that. So again, I hope you had as much fun as I did. And uh, remember, think outside the box, and yes, you can change the world with art. See you next time.